In two hours from now, a vigil is going to be held in Thousand Oaks, California, the most recent city hit with a mass shooting. Twelve people were killed inside a crowded country western bar when the gunman, a decorated but disturbed Marine War veteran, opened fire. Witnesses describe a chaotic scene as people ran for cover. Our Ryan Quersgaard is the only local reporter in California covering this deadly attack. Thousand Oaks, as you see on its map, is located just outside Burbank. Now, Ryan, we've heard witness accounts and words from mourning family members all day. A devastating, devastating shooting. It certainly is, Bill. In the last few minutes, we saw more investigators going into the bar just down the street. This entire area remains sealed off as they try and answer the question we all have. Why? It was to be a night of fun. It was college night at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks, California. Then at about 1120 last night, someone walked in firing a gun. Oh, Heavenly Father, just please. <laughs> 22-year-old Cody Kaufman was inside the bar. His family spent the morning trying to find him. Then they found out he was gone. He was so excited to have his first sister and not, uh, n n now they'll n she'll never, n oh. oh, Cody, I love you, son. Investigators say 28-year-old Ian David Long walked into the bar and started shooting. Police say the former Marine killed himself after police and tactical units arrived. The Defense Department says Long was honorably discharged. Investigators say he took his own life after deputies responded. There, there's no doubt that they saved lives by going in there and engaging with the suspect. Sheriff Sergeant Ron Helis was killed after he responded to the call of shots fired. Investigators say they cannot answer the question, why? We're going to... Uh, pursue the leads that are developed from that evidence uh, wherever they take us uh, to identify any possible motivation. You can imagine we are learning more and more about the people who were inside there. We learned that the sheriff's sergeant was actually on the phone with his wife when he got that call to come here last night. Uh, he said, I love you. I will talk to you later. That was their last conversation. We're live in California tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News.